Hello everyone, my name is Alberto and welcome back to my channel. In this video I wanted to show you another combination of stitches, that is the rib stitch. Uh, rib is very useful for edges, in sweaters especially, uh, because it's very elastic and it tends to gather itself. Uh, in this case, we start with an odd number of stitches and we're gonna knit one and then pull the yarn to the front and purl the second stitch. And then we're gonna keep alternating the whole way. So we're gonna knit one like that. Pull the yarn to the front and purl the one after. Every time it's important to remember to move the yarn to the front and the back. You move it to the back before the knit stitches and you move it to the front before the purl stitches. And that's because otherwise the yarn twists and it's very difficult and you get some mistakes. It doesn't look great. So this is a one by one rib, meaning that one is a knit and one is a purl. Uh, but you can use all sort of combinations like two by two, two by one, one by two, etc, etc. And that's just gonna give you a different look. The one by one is usually the most versatile and the easiest to do. So when you get to the end, uh, since we did an odd number of stitches, we're gonna finish with the same one we started with. In this case is a knit, but if you started with a purl, you're gonna finish with a purl, obviously. And when we go to the end, we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna have to do the opposite. So we finished with a knit, meaning we're gonna start this time with a purl. To distinguish them, you're gonna use the same method. So when you see a little bump, sort of horizontal bar you're gonna purl like in this case and when you're gonna see a V you're gonna knit in the very first rounds it's a bit more difficult but once you started doing a little bit and the work is a bit longer it's gonna be so much easier to see and in this case you're just gonna repeat the same pattern again as I said, just alternating. So when you see a purl, you're gonna purl. When you see a rib, you're gonna uh, knit. Sorry, you're gonna knit. And this will go on either for the amount of stitches called by your pattern, or you can just use it as it is. You can just do a whole rib scarf, which is quite nice or in case it's a beanie or a sweater, it might be the whole thing, just rib. And like that, we're just gonna continue. Remember to make sure that the yarn is always either in front or in the back, depending on the stitch you're about to make. And that's it. It's really, really easy and simple. So after a while, you'll be able to, uh, as I said, see easier which stitch is which. Uh, but you'll see after you've done a bit, it's pretty easy. And here's the final result. As you can see, it tends to gather and occupy half of the space, but it's super elastic, super soft, and a very thick stitch. So this is the one by one rib. I hope you liked the video and it was useful for you. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It's a great help. And I'll see you next time. Bye.